happy to meet you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's get started. And thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for reminding me about this. I'm actually, I've, I've been in the long vacation. I missed a few uh, important meetings. So let's get started, uh, Pavitra. First of all, congratulations uh, for getting placed in QB84. Uh, it was a long time uh, thing uh, we have been uh, looking for. Because you have been put as such a uh, tremendous effort in terms of not only just preparing for the um, sales force, you have involved yourself in so many, uh, so many activities, right from uh, the POC programs. And very recently, you have taken a session for us about the portfolio and you have involved yourself as a co-learner, moderator, assistant trainer. There are so much things and so much roles you have played, not just uh, focusing only on the videos, not just uh, focusing only on the case studies. I'm happy that uh, you got this. Over to you, Pavitra. Maybe you can start with uh, by just uh, introducing about yourself, you and your background. Maybe you can also share about your family. Over to you, please. Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining today. Uh, so I did uh, MTech in computer science and engineering and passed out 2014. So after that, uh, I worked for 1.5 years in non-IT background. After that, due to my personal reason, I took the career gap of around eight years. Maternity, uh, I need to take care of family like that. So I have to take the career gap. So after that, uh, I have started learning the sales force. Uh, I spoke with Ashok. I personally visit the um, uh, classroom and all. After that, I got the confident. After I spoke with Ashok, he explained me everything. So I got the confident. Okay, definitely this is our career. Uh, we will get the job in Salesforce uh, technology. So I have joined uh, June 2023. So since that, I'm traveling along with AJST, whatever opportunities I'm getting, uh, I used it. I won't, I even, I won't skip any single opportunities. Uh, if someone asking me something, I'm ready to do that. Every day I used it to attend the Q&A sessions. Uh, mostly I won't skip anything because even if I have the doubt or not, uh, I have the update or uh, the trainer verification. Please go ahead. I will mute them. You go ahead. So I used to join uh, the Q&A session because uh, even if I don't have the update also, I can re recollect the previous topics. So continuously, I attend the Q&A sessions. After that, uh, uh, Ashok created a lot of opportunities, the, the presentation, uh, the peer educated program. So I have participated okay, in things. So it, helped me, uh, it helped me to improve myself. So the, uh, yeah. So it helped me to clear the interview also because uh, I don't have the fear. Initially, I have the fear to speak in front of everyone. But while using the opportunity of presentation and all, uh, uh, right now I'm, I'm much better actually compared to earlier. After the peer educator program, uh, I explored a lot. Uh, I come to know how to uh, search for the topics, how to explore more apart from the uh, syllabus, apart from the topic. Uh, it, it gave me the different perspective because uh, apart from the case study, uh, we can explore more. Because uh, Salesforce is a huge topic, right? So we have more. So it will create the opportunity. Uh, so I used everything. Uh, today I'm very happy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for the brief, uh, Pavitra. That's actually true. Uh, because uh, the learning, it's, it will not happen only by just books. Or when it comes to AJC, it, will, it, it cannot be done only by watching the videos. It cannot be done only by uh, going through the case studies. Because that's how uh, we have been seeing so far. I'm happy you found uh, the different channels uh, to improve your knowledge. Thank you so much. And may know uh, on the whole, wh what was the total years of uh, uh, career gap, Pavitra? It's around eight years. It's around eight years. Mm -hmm. So uh, you started your career at where? At what uh, time? Maybe the year? Uh, I have started my career in 2015. Uh, I worked at, until 2016 uh, with IBM. Okay. As an instant manager, it's 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 not related to the development. It's not related to technical. It's a kind of infrastructure work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, yes. okay. In that in that case, you you worked for some time, and it is completely kind of a non-IT, which means uh, you never got a chance to work on the scripts and all. But when it comes to uh, Salesforce, definitely when it comes to the development part, uh, obviously you have to do coding. Uh, even though we so uh, we call them as a point click and drag and drop, there are times you have to do the scripting as well. So how how did it feel that when you did the first coding, like when did you start write uh, that Apex coding and all? Uh, what was the mindset? Uh, how did you prepare yourself? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I'm a bit of computer science background, but uh, due to the career gap, uh, everything I forgot a little bit. So, but the material is actually it's very clear. Mm -hmm. uh, in Apex, in the sense, in Agrasensor's video, it's really helped me a lot because he explained each and everything. Mm -hmm. Even if someone uh, coming from the non-technical background also, they are able to catch up the topics. Uh, if you are not able to understand in Q&A session, um, Q&A session, we can clear uh, clarify our doubts. So it uh, really helped me. Okay, okay. Good to know that. Okay. How about uh, the flows part? Uh, obviously, most of the people, especially in AJST too, uh, they give us a feedback about Ashok. Everything is I'm fine with uh, when it comes to admin, but flows alone, I got stuck and it taking a bit time for me to uh, clear up. So, how did you feel about flows? Whether you find any difficulty or how did you manage? Yeah, uh, for initial a uh, few days, uh, even I do feel the difficulty flows, the automation part. After that, I try to relate with the scenarios. Uh, if the we have the ATM uh, thing, right? So I try to relate the real time scenario, how we will withdraw the money in from the ATM machine. What are all the options there? Mm -hmm. We have to understand each and every element. After that, we try to connect with the real time scenario. Mm -hmm. If you are started building in that way, it will be very easy. Mm -hmm. okay. In, initially we may face the challenge but after a few days definitely if we, if we are able to relate it definitely we can do that okay okay so you um, mostly we have to deal with the logicals logics at the end of the day okay mm -hmm. and i know that you uh, you have a baby you have a toddler right how how old is she or he uh, she is 3.5 years. Okay, 3.5. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a, a toddler and obviously you are taking care of the household uh, mm -hmm. things. How did you find time to uh, learn? Maybe you can share about uh, your uh, schedule. Yeah, sure. Actually, when I woke up morning, I used to woke up early around 5 or 6. It's depend on timing. So I used to uh, sit in front of laptop. Whenever it's it's always standby mode until night. Whenever uh, I find time, I used to continue my studies. Uh, I will cooking and then meanwhile, if I get the time, I will sit. I will spend at least a half an hour or ten minutes, even ten minutes also. It's uh, helped me to re recollect the topics, the previous thing, what I have left there. Right, I start from that. So it's always I'm sitting in front of a, a laptop. My baby, she used to think. Uh, when I'm studying in AGST, uh, AGST, she used to think I'm working. <laughs> so I'm always sitting in front of laptop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whenever I find time, uh, I used to uh, study. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, nowadays uh, we have people, we have seen people who have all the time, eight, year, eight hours, nine hours. They come to even classroom. They spend nine hours, 10 hours a day. Still, they're taking a time, taking a time of four months, five months and six months. But when coming back to you, despite uh, you have you are, you, are, you are taking care of your child, taking care of the family, and still you not only just watched the video, not only just did the case studies, you took part in the POC program. You you along with your team members developed a project, and uh, you have done so many things. I'm very happy uh, to know such person like you, such a dedicated one, who put a heart and soul in terms of uh, learning the Salesforce. You're being a role model for many people. I'm proud to say that. Thank you. Thank you for being that. Yo, I still remember the first day you told me the consistency is very important. I always remember those points because uh, if even uh, due to the personal situation, even I, I need to take some break also in between uh, my duration curriculum. So I felt we have to maintain the consistency. Every day, uh, at least minimum... Uh, I try to spend at least one hour. Uh, like that, uh, I'm maintaining that. So the consistency is very important. Yeah, yeah, that's really key, key thing. 
because uh, salesforce is not a kind of a day thing or month uh, it will take uh, time for us to learn the entire one to to be prepared uh, to start work for an organization how long it took for you pavitra when did you join here in ajst uh, in june 2023 it's almost 11 months yeah it's almost 11 months yes the number of days it purely depends upon the individuals availability and their level of understanding what kind of background they are coming from right but this is a quite a long duration, 11, okay? Uh, the day one, you have learned something and you have to remember in the almost lot, you are in the 11th month. So how did you able to uh, remember all the stuff all the time? Say, for example, you are learning about record types. You are learning about page layouts in the almost day five or seven, but you are almost in the 11th month and you are appearing for the interview. How did you manage to recollect all the topics? Right. Uh, the thing was uh, the Q&A session every day I used to talk and even I don't have the updates also. So who are all joined uh, newly, right? They will uh, come up with the doubts from the record type or page layout from the beginning of the admin part. So it helped me to recollect after the, the code on a sessions. Mm -hmm. So people used to come with the doubts from the admin part and the development. So if if we uh, keep on participating on those uh, things, we are able to recollect it. Mm -hmm. They will come up with a different, different scenario, different, different doubts. Even uh, we won't think in that perspective. So it uh, helped me uh, to re recollect the previous topics. So both. I'm happy that uh, the colonel sessions actually helped you to recollect all this thing. Thank you. And I hope you, you there are a period of time, you uh, supported AJST as an assistant trainer too, right? Uh, yeah. So how was that experience? It's actually, uh, it's very nice. Uh, I, as, I worked as an assistant trainer for Vijit, sir. So it's actually, uh, so I'm getting the input from him. He, what, whatever in, input he's providing to the other tra trainees, I try to apply for that in my scenario. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we are clearing doubts to them, uh, the basic, the admin part and all, I used to, to take care of it. So it helped me to recollect the topics. Mm -hmm. Even, yeah, so it helped me. We won't forget in the code on a session, the assistant training. If we are participating on that, definitely we won't forget uh, the from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And in terms of communication, obviously, uh, apart from English, explaining the technical terms uh, to some other person, right? In that perspective, did you find this code learner or assistant trainer was helpful? Uh, yeah, definitely, Ashok. Actually, uh, I joined with a Cube 84 May 2nd. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's almost one week, right? Initially, they asked me to uh, get the present demonstration about the product. Mm -hmm. So then only they will place me in the project. So everyone is uh, everyone appreciated. Oh, okay. I explained well. So the reason behind I felt uh, the presentation, the code on a session, and then the assistant trainer. So I get the opportunity to speak with people. Yes. Then only uh, if we are reading uh, through the videos or case studies, it will not come, right? We, we mm -hmm. need someone to speak. Mm -hmm. So if we are participating in those kind of event, uh, we are able to improve ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it helped me a lot, actually. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing those moments. Because that actually helping us, in fact, uh, re-insisting us uh, to engage uh, people in such activities again and again. Because we could see uh, the kind of outcome, uh, how it is going good. good. And uh, how about the POC program? So maybe you can share something about that. You, you... It's amazing, actually. Uh, I request everyone to use that because before uh, I'm able to see the difference. Before POC, uh, I'm just focusing on the materials, on the video, whatever uh, you are sharing, right? I'm just focusing on that. I, I'm i just trying to complete the case study and try to get the review. Mm -hmm. uh, in, I'm in that perspective. But after the POC, uh, I got such an amazing team. Mm -hmm. So they helped me a lot during the time also. How to learn? Because the sales was a huge topic, right? So uh, I learned from Swapna, Vijaya, everyone. I each and every, from everyone, I learned something new. So after that POC, uh, I started the development part. I'm able to see the difference myself. Mm -hmm. The learning. Okay, if I'm stuck in somewhere, definitely I won't wait until the uh, next Q and A session, or uh, I'm not as 
immediately I, I am not asking to anyone. I try to solve that and explore more. Mm -hmm. So it helped me a lot actually. Good, good. Good to know. Maybe people who are watching this now or recorded video, POC is nothing but a proof of concept, a program being conducted by AJST, where uh, all AJST trainees will be given, uh, allocated as a team, a team of five to six members. You will be given a project and you will be asked to, to do the project all by your own. Maybe you will get a supporter uh, here and there. In this program, you will get to know how a typical project you're going to deal with. What are the process you're going to follow? Like uh, what are the SDLC, the software development cycle, how you will do that? After all this, like Pavitra uh, told, uh, you will start explore everything by yourself because uh, in fact, that is what you're going to do once you get placed. So that's actually a good experience. Uh, I request everyone to, uh, in fact, Pavitra also insisting the same, uh, try to, when you get a chance to involve in such a project, please try to involve yourself. That definitely give you a different perspective. Right, all right. Yeah, I want to add one more point. In the interview yes. also, it helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. I explained about my project. Wherever uh, I have attended few interviews. So when I get the chance, uh, I try to explain my project. Mm -hmm. So it helped me a lot to compare with other candidates. So yeah. Yeah, that's true because the, even within AJST, you take you see there are close to thirty members are enrolling every month in AJST exclusively for Salesforce. If you ask me, Ashok, whether all the thirty people are getting opportunities every month, the answer is no. It doesn't mean uh, there is no Salesforce opportunities. You know? Even in QB84 itself, there are still more uh, vacancies are there. The people are uh, calling us. But the question is, how many of them are really serious about uh, about their career? How many of them are really serious about putting in efforts? Because like you see, uh, we are seeing Pavitra, she took uh, nearly 11 months uh, having a baby, toddler, having family, and she has been involving many things, and now he, she's in this place. But there are people with even eight hours, nine hours in her hand, they're not ready to put efforts, a focused effort on the daily basis. Okay, But when it comes to this, uh, they have to put this kind of efforts to get very good opportunity. Salesforce is a kind of a very nice ecosystem where you don't have to bang head with uh, I, you, I, I don't know this, I don't know this. There are plenty of things available in the internet itself. You don't have to create anything new out of it. Just refer, apply your logic and get it done. All right, cool. And coming back to the mock interview, Pavitra. So how many mock interviews or uh, prelims you have attended with whom? Uh, I have attended one mock interview for admin uh, with Vijay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, he gave inputs to me uh, where I, I have to improve myself like that. So I, I try to overcome that uh, topics wherever I have to improve. Uh, after that, after the mock interview also, I learned that I explored more. Uh, I just, uh, I took his input and then apply. It helped me to clear the interview because mm -hmm. I don't have much fear when I attend the interview because... Uh, okay. In AJSG, we have so many things, right? Uh, we used to, uh, we, we have the habit to explain the topics and then we have the mock interview and all. So it helped me to, without fear, I'm able to attend the interview. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. You said you have got a chance to attend nearly two interviews, right? So uh, in those interviews, is there any topic you felt, uh, Ashwa, this is a topic maybe we can add in, in AJST because I come across such topic. Whether Do we have any such topic or is there everything covered part of our curriculum itself? Everything, everything almost uh, covered. They asked me about the LWC part and all. Uh, I didn't complete that part yet. So uh, I just uh, told them I didn't complete this. But up to this topic, I'm very clear. I'm very confident. So mm -hmm. they ask the questions from those topics and able to uh, give them the answer. Good, good. So how about the trigger part, uh, which, which, which is a kind of a mandatory thing in every interview. So have they asked you to write triggers? Uh, yeah, I have attended one developer interview. They yeah. asked me to uh, write the code uh, in the developer console itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I wrote the trigger part and I executed it. Good. After good. that, uh, they gave few inputs from my trigger part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we can uh, skip those lines like that. Uh, they provide the inputs. Uh, they are mm -hmm. happy with the trigger part also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And coming back to your family, so how about your family? How much did they uh, give us support uh, for you, uh, especially in learning Salesforce? 
Yeah, they supported me a lot because uh, before starting the uh, Salesforce journey, uh, I said with everyone, I spoke with them. Uh, I thought I'm going to restart my career, so I have to learn. Uh, I need all of your support. Everyone, my parents, my in-laws, my husband, everyone supported me. But uh, sometimes the situation makes us feel guilty. Uh, we didn't take care of a family like that. Uh, we face some situation like that. But at that time, uh, I used to take a few days break. After that, I will start. Okay, no, no. We started. We committed to learn. Definitely, we have to complete it. Mm. So then I will come to the track again. <laughs> That's true. Because, uh, see, all by our own, uh, being a bachelor it is a different story being uh, having a uh, being a mother and taking care of things is a different story because we need people's help maybe this is for not only for pavitra people over in this meeting and people here watching this recorded video especially mothers uh, you are all restarting your career which means you are already uh, facing a challenges of recollecting your logical thinking recollecting what you have learned in college and all and you're putting in effort Apart from that, yes, as she told, uh, you will be having that uh, kind of a guilt. I have a baby. I'm not taking care of her time. I'm not able to spend time with my baby. I'm not able to spend time with my husband or the, my in-laws or other family members. Obviously, such situation comes up. Uh, don't uh, uh, fed up. And also, try to get people's help. Uh, talk to them. Uh, just go them, talk to them, request them. I, I want to start, re just like she did, I want to restart my career. I need at least one or two hours for myself. So that, because at the end of the day, it is not only the question of uh, you are doing uh, only for your own self. It is not kind of a selfish kind of thing. Today, if you are able to get the time and uh, you are able to shape your career, over the period of time, Salesforce is a kind of a beautiful ecosystem where you need not to be in the front of the machine for all the eight hours or nine hours or 12 hours because it is not the typical IT stuff. Once you learn how to make things, it's a matter of time. Uh, even though you have to be uh, available for all the eight hours, nine hours, you are able to complete the task within two to three hours itself. The rest of the time, you can spend the valuable time with your family. Over the period of time, you can easily get the work from home and all because Salesforce is a cloud. Wherever you go, the cloud follows. So you can easily uh, do the work at your home itself. Maybe uh, out of the experience, I'm sharing this. When I got an opportunity to start work in Salesforce and I got married and the COVID thing is there uh, and also I have a baby. I still feel grateful for Salesforce because I spent the entire uh, childhood time uh, right from right from my son born and uh, he has grown up uh, year of one, two, three. I'm able to spend time with him uh, because I uh, they allocate a task to me. I'm able to complete within two to three hours. Obviously, we have to log for eight hours. They also know that uh, I'm a kind of person capable of uh, doing multiple tasks, but they don't disturb me because uh, they give the space. Because end of the day, we are able to meet their target and they are not going to disturb us. And I'm able to spend time with my family, able to spend time with my child. And also, I'm able to build this business. Okay. it's At the end of the day, it's also a business, right? We are doing a Salesforce training. I, was, I used to do the part-time training. So why am I saying all this thing? Salesforce has that power. Uh, you don't have to spend the entire time to get the things done. It's a matter of time. Uh, what are, if you are able to understand the concepts really well, you got the real good practice of how to apply the things, you can easily done the thing. You can easily manage everything. You will not come back and say, IT job, pressure uh, But one thing I will say is, don't get into any interview uh, until you complete the basics and the LWC stuff. And all. Because what will happen, you may be able to clear interview. You may, may be able to clear interview with your communication skills, some of the basic sales posting. But the moment you get into the job, this is for everybody. Uh, by the time if somebody allocated a task, which you never encountered, what you have to do, you have to first learn it, then you have to deliver it. But people will not give you that ample time, just like uh, learning in the academy. So instead of spending a time after you get the job, you will feel pressure. Eight hours you will learn. Rest of the eight hours you work, close to 16 hours you will be in the front of the machine. 
out of the 24 hours, only two to three hours, you are able to spend time. Okay. So sometimes you will skip the meal, you will skip the sleep, you skip the time spending with the family. That will create a pressure over the time. Then people come back and say, IT job is full of pressure, Ashok, I quit it. It happened with some of our trainees as well, back in 2018-19. My kind of suggestion to all the AGST folks and all the people in Salesforce, learn the stuff completely, at least whatever you see in the curriculum. Admin part, development, integration, LWC. Then spend time in terms of interview preparation and go happily attend the interview, clear the interview. Okay, Don't rush yourself. Maybe uh, people by sawing Pavitra's uh, achievements and sawing Pavitra's videos and all, then definitely, ah, she got placed in QB84. Okay, let me also give a try for a couple of interviews, five interviews, 10 interviews. Then they will come back and say, Ashok, I got burned out. I applied so much interviews, but I'm not at all able to clear. Then we will ask people, okay, have you done this? Have you at least gave a mock interview? They will say, no, I didn't give a mock interview. By seeing this video, I got inspired and I started doing this. Because this is the kind of repeated stuff happening in AJST. Uh, by got inspiration from videos, they're joining the course. By got inspiration from videos, they're immediately uh, skipping, uh, getting the case studies reviewed or uh, doing other things, skipping the mock interview, directly up an interview. So success is not a kind of a stuff, uh, it, it will not happen over the night. You see her, right? It's close to 11 months. All the 11 months, she has to go through everything. Yeah, she has to manage the family. She has to manage the sales force. Not only she did uh, doing case studies or watching videos, she has to participate in each and she has to take each and every opportunity where she can learn things. And thank you so much for being that, Pavitra. We, uh, people like you are being an inspiration for us as well and uh, helping us to move further. Okay, Ashok, uh, whatever the effort we, we are all able to put, there are people able to grasp everything and they are also able to move forward. We're very happy to see mothers like you are achieving great things. Thank you for Thank being an inspiration for everyone, including us. Thank you. I would like to convey my thanks to Shobhana ma'am, Vijit sir, Nagarajan sir and you. Because uh, you, you guys made my dream come true. So uh, I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank whole you. AJST team. Because uh, Madan, uh, Madan sir, he gave his input to me. Each and everyone I talk with, uh, personally, each and everyone who are in AJST, most of the people. So I like to thank each and everyone. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Pavitra. That's really amazing. Okay, maybe. Okay, it's time for participants. So if you have any questions to Pavitra, over to you. Please use that is the right hand option. Click on that. I will call your name. Then unmute, then ask your questions to Pavitra. So now it's time for audience. Okay. Do anybody have any questions? So oh, here you go. Hi. Sarta. Hi, Pavitra. Good luck for Thank your you. future. And you can achieve because you are the really hard worker. And um, we saw you how we worked in the POC. It was really nice. So keep going. So, and you can achieve, don't uh, depress yourself, you can achieve anything. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Swapna. And uh, congratulations for you too, Swapna. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We will be having an uh, interview soon. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we got placed recently. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Raghav. Raghav. Hello. Yes, Raghav, we are able to hear you. Hi, Ashok. Hi, Akka. Uh, congrats, Akka. I'm just here for say congrats to you. Thank you, Raghav. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ashok. Thank you, Raghav. How are you, man? So, we got our... Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, Fazil. Fazil, say uh, Hi, Pavitra. Congratulations. Thank you, Fazil. Yeah, I just have one doubt. Like, uh, as you got an admin job there, like, uh, how is it really, like, uh, whatever the course we learn in the admin, is it uh, really helping us in the real-time world like that? Yeah, definitely. The admin part, uh, we covered everything in our syllabus. 
we are going to work, but in different scenarios, in real time, the project, the product, everything will be different, right? So we are going to apply the concept. So whatever we are learning, that is very important, the basic stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Is there anything else, anyone else? Do anybody have any questions to Pavitra? Hi, Pavitra. Hi. So this is Chandan. So uh, apart from admin and development, do you, do you also learn like sales cloud and service cloud? Sales cloud in the sense, uh, we have the objects right from beginning of lead campaign, everything will come up to before selling the product, everything will come under sales cloud. In the cases, entitlement and all, everything will come under service cloud. So uh, in our syllabus, we covered everything. Okay. Yeah, sales and service both are. Uh, how much time did you give to that uh, while you were uh, doing the training? Uh, most of the time it's uh, it's ups and down because uh, uh, some of the time I'm able to spend two hours, some of the time I'm able to spend more than six hours. Uh, so it's based on my situation, but uh, most of the time, whenever I'm getting the chance to. If I get that time, definitely I will start uh, learning something. I will work on some, some scenarios. Every day I'm practicing one trigger scenario like that. So that's how I'm spending my time. Actually, I also want to enroll in this because I see uh, over the years, for last few years, uh, no, last from last year only, I have uh, started learning Salesforce by one only. So I have, I have knowledge on like admin mm -hmm. development and LWC also. Uh, the the flow part are not well covered, uh, but uh, these portions are well covered. Uh, in development part, I guess I have few problems. So if I clear that, uh, my question to Asok is that uh, if I uh, clear those rounds, will I be eligible to give interview? Because I have already uh, spent so much time. So that's why. Uh, See, Chandan, uh, to be yeah. honest, uh, okay, to be honest, answer to your question, uh, uh, you don't need uh, any academics, to be honest, okay. The academies, uh, including trial heads and all, there are so much thing available in the internet itself for us to learn. But the question is, if you take any concept, let's take example of your flows, okay, whether you know the end-to-end -end about the flows, whether you know how to apply the flows in the real time, whether you have ample hands-on on that. If you have all this, you, ne you need a platform or you need someone to test your situations. But maybe by asking the questions, a kind of conducting a mock interview, if you find someone or friends, maybe in LinkedIn or someone who is able to spend time for you to ask at least a questions like this. Okay, what is this and how you are going to apply this to test your knowledge. If you got opportunity to test your knowledge and you are getting a tick mark in everything, right? Like your understanding is correct. You are able to implement uh, in the situation. Then you can directly apply for the opportunities. Okay. Actually, but sir, I am be... applying now. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. not getting calls. Uh, actually, sir, I, I have applied sir, many times uh, to mm -hmm. many companies. I'm not mm -hmm. getting call. Actually, I have some uh, year gap also. Actually, mm -hmm. I used to work uh, in mechanical for one year at least. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I left the job and I'm trying to uh, switch into IT. So mm -hmm. that's why, sir, I have started learning by own. Mm -hmm. So then again, recession came. Then again, I waited and waited. And uh, it's time like my, I'm getting family pressure okay. uh, also. And there is, sir, I'm, I have invested. Oh, See, there years. is no, the, I agree. There was a term called recession is going on in the market. But when it comes to Salesforce, when it comes to trying the folks like Pavitra, there are always a wanted in the market. But one thing we have to agree, you cannot find uh, job opportunities straight away in the market, especially in India. Like uh, no company will come uh, and say, I'm hiring a Salesforce trying candidates. I'm also ready to hire the people with a career gap. We are also ready to hire people with uh, non-IT to IT background. No companies will dare to come and put it in the even in the LinkedIn. The moment they put we are hiring, they'll be giving a they'll be they'll be getting a hundreds and thousands of profiles. Imagine I'm a HR, I'm posting says that I'm hiring Salesforce trying to folks. I'm getting thousands right, e resumes. How will I deal with that? To shortlist itself, it will take one week of time. 
right? That is the difficulty of every companies nowadays. So such companies are they are doing they are reaching academy like us. Okay, when uh, folks are approaching AJST, this is what they are telling Ashok. We are not able to identify a proper resources with proper hands on. Okay. So don't give me tens or twenties of profile. Just give us only five profiles who are all the best, who got already good hands on training and all. Out of the five, we will choose two or three. So we are actually making their time uh, less, right? We are not letting them to spend unnecessary time. So I really agree, you cannot find opportunities uh, straight away in the open market, provided the companies are having a very big team to shortlist the candidate. So most of the time they are approaching us. In fact, even today, we are close to have 10 openings for Salesforce trying to force. I can I have to agree, there are AGST folks that are trying, uh, attending the mock interviews and they are clearing. Those who are clearing, we are actually referring them directly. That's how Pavitra also got referred to Q84, okay? So obviously, that is the gap. This is the gap we are filling out in this market. Maybe what I would suggest, if you're really interested, get in touch with the team. They will also guide you better. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. I would like to talk to you on this or later, but uh, I will talk to your team on definitely. But I would like to have chat. We will connect, Chandan. We will connect later. Maybe we collect. Uh, we can connect on Monday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. I'll call you. Uh, I'll text you first. Then we can. No problem, Chandan. Thank you. Thank you. Because okay. uh, I need to talk, sir. Because okay. when I talk to you, I'll clear my things stuff. Then I'll definitely do that. Sure, sure. We can. We can definitely do it. Thank you. Time. Uh, okay, we'll go move on to the other people. So, anybody have any questions? Karthik Raja, do you have any questions? No, sir, nothing. Okay, we got some of the questions in. The... So, there is a question for you uh, in the chat, Pavitra. Uh, okay. Have they asked about admin certifications and have you completing case studies? Anything extra you did? Apart from completing case study, anything extra you did? There are so many things she has done. Okay, over to you, Pavitra. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, Jason. So, on your first question, uh, they didn't ask about any certification to me. So, next, uh, apart from the case study, I explored the experience cloud. And then, uh, apart from that, uh, I used to do the trial head models. Whatever the new topics coming into the Salesforce, I, I, I'm trying to explore on that. At the time of interview, I used to share with them. Apart from the topics, the recent updates, every year we have around three releases, right? So uh, I used to keep on eye that um, whatever the updates are, I try to get the knowledge on that. Uh, I used to share those knowledge at the time of interview. Maybe I will, I can also add some of the things she has done that. One thing, uh, she has completed the project. Uh, that is a POC we have told, right? She worked on a project. Uh, she got a good hands-on on the project. During the interview also, she is able to explain about the project that actually sets her apart from uh, other people. There are close to, uh, there are many resources being referred and uh, interviewed by the company. She's the only one who has completed the project. That is the one thing she has done apart from completing the case studies. And another thing, she, she was an active participant of the co-learner. She worked as a co-learner moderator. She start the session. She put it in the group like uh, the session has started. People join, ask questions. She is able to share her knowledge. And also she uh, joined uh, our trainer, Vijay, as an assistant trainer. And very recently, she has given a session on a, a portfolio. There are so many things she has done. It is not only just completing the case study. Obviously, completing the case study will give you the knowledge, guys. But uh, when you started giving the knowledge away, the more you teach, the more you will learn and the more you will get. That actually happened with her. The one suggestion the I have to underline is try to get an opportunity where you can share your knowledge. Okay. That definitely helps you uh, to increase your knowledge and also Im improve your communication. That ultimately lands you where you want. All right. Thank you. Vijit, you there, Vijit? Uh, you want to ask, share anything? I think Vijit is traveling. I'm not finding Vijit here. Vijit, you're able to hear us? Yeah, I should. I just, uh... 
ओटी विजय या या यू आर ऑडिबल वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट द पवित्र अचीवमेंट एक्चुअली व्हेन शी केम टू माय सेशन शी ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द एडमिन विद शोभना एंड आई कैन सी शी गॉट लॉट ऑफ नॉलेज जस्ट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ गाइडेंस इज नीडेड फॉर हर आई थिंक शी हैज शी वाज विद मी फॉर ऑलमोस्ट वन मंथ हम्म द एरिया इन व्हिच आई पुट सम एफर्ट इज लाइक to focus more on interview preparation actually maybe uh, people are good in uh, the case studies everything but there are a little bit of fine tune to be done and uh, how to face the interview what are the questions we can expect so that is uh, she really picked up actually, and the notes taking she is taking notes very nicely i mean she already covered everything that mean and uh, in development also uh, she is covering everything in the notes so it's easy for her to recall the topics when going to the interview and there are little bit guidance which i uh, put in a resume preparation also uh, so in each and every part i'll just uh, i mean uh, giving my support but uh, the way she picked up is uh, really appreciable and i'm very happy that uh, she is in a good position now thank you vijay thank you thank you vijit for sharing your views and uh, definitely this, we have to appreciate uh, vijit as well thanks for all your input uh, to her and uh, for taking care of her and i i take this moment to thank the entire agst team uh, nagarajan shobhana and all the back end teams uh, for their support and coordination for uh, pravindra thank you okay we are almost in the end of the session do anybody have any questions to pravindra anybody want to ask anything or want to share anything I see Shobhana is here. Hi Shobhana. Shobhana, Mari getting. Hi Ashok. <laughs> Hi Ashok. Yes, yes, please go ahead, Shobhana. Yeah, thank you. Hi Pavitra, all the best. So happy for you, Pavitra. I'm so happy. Like uh, almost one year, uh, she was traveling along with us. Initially, away, but then she'll be very keen in uh, learning uh, out of the topic. If I do extra, if I give her, uh, she will go and explore and come back. Uh, and uh, she'll be very keen in um, exploring first mm mm so happy for you so you deserve it pavitra so happy to see your uh, progress and growth thank you so much so much but that's one the point it is uh... actually i want to convey my special thanks to shobhana ma'am because uh, personally i felt each and every qn session like a interview session for me <laughs> <laughs> so seriously mummy it helped me lot actually the way she is asking the questions i try to okay I, i thought okay definitely we will face such a questions in the interview her task apart from the case study and all she used to give the task for us so really helped me lot so the main part shobhana i want to thank you <laughs> that's because of your enthusiasm makes me to give such task because you are actually waiting to receive something from me right so that makes me to give that so happy for you <laughs> keep uh, going <laughs> thank you thank you thank you ashok thank you shobhana thank you so much see there are two things uh, just like you uh, shobhana is used to do the thing asking the questions to many people there are people come up uh, with a different uh, thing ashok uh, shobhana is asking too much questions i am not able to answer could you please ask her not to ask me any questions there are people also like that okay we we, we have to handle the situation like that but in that case as shobhana told you got that enthusiasm and uh, you are ready to face the challenge right uh, that actually sets you apart from the rest okay the more and more we put hands on the more and more we face challenges adha da nammala vandu sedukite varu nu solluvanga i'm happy that you are able to grasp everything thank you so much shobana thank you thank you ashok okay. this is very crucial pavitha maybe a uh, பதினோரு மாசம் முடிஞ்சிருச்சு பட் தெர் ஆர் ஆக்சுவலி ஒரு ஆக்சுவல் சேலஞ்சஸ் கெட்டிங் ஸ்டார்ட் என்னடா பயமுறுத்தலே நினைக்காதீங்க இட்ஸ் ஆல் அபவுட் யூ ஹாவ் டு பி ரெடி ஏன்னா ரியல் டைமா யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஒர்க் ஃபார் அன் அஸ் அட்மின் அப்படிங்கும் போது பி கேர்ஃபுல் இன் ஹேண்ட்லிங் ஆல் த திங்ஸ் ஒரு தடவைக்கு ரெண்டு தடவை எல்லா விஷயங்களையுமே என்ன பண்ணீங்கன்னா அந்த யூனிட் டெஸ்ட்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இல்லையா வாட் எவர் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு டெலிவர் வெதர் இட் இஸ் ஈவன் இமெயில் பிஃபோர் சென்டிங் அன் இமெயில் ரீட் தட் இமெயில் ட்வைஸ் and before you are uh, making some changes in production or before you are going to make some changes in your any of the local environment before you are letting somebody know that you have done this always uh, make sure you done the things correct 
ஏன்னா நம்ம செஞ்சு நம்ம பண்ணியிருப்போம் ஒரு கட்டத்துக்கு அப்புறம் நம்மளுக்கே ஒரு நல்ல கான்ஃபிடென்ட் வரும் இருந்தாலுமே டூயிங் தட் யூனிட் டெஸ்டிங் இஸ் வெரி குரூஷியல் அது நம்ம லைஃப்பில் குறிப்பாக ஐடியில் எந்த லெவலுக்கு போனாலும் தட் அப்சல்யூட்லி நீடு கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமாக உங்களுக்கு அந்த மெச்சூரிட்டி வந்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஆல்ரெடி யூ யூ டோல்ட் அஸ் தட் யூ ஷேட் வித் அஸ் தட் அசோக் ஐ கேவ் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் த பீப்புள் ஆல்சோ காட் இம்ப்ரெஸ் யூ காட் தட் பொட்டென்ஷியல் யூ காட் த பொட்டென்ஷியல் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோரிங் த திங்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ காட் தட் டெடிகேஷன் அண்ட் கமிட்மெண்ட் keep it up that is very important obviously the consistent is you already had this but i wish you have that consistent uh, always with you the same level of dedications id apdi continue padunga padu maasam thodu pogama ayyo or destination vandutton solitte konjam relax la aidadinga i i will know that you will not but uh, i have to tell you இந்த ஜர்னி இன்னும் பியூட்டிஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் உங்களுக்கு இந்த அளவுக்கெல்லாம் டென்ஷனாக இருக்காது ஓவர் த பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் யூ வில் கெட் செட்டில் டவுன் ஃபேமிலியும் பார்த்துக்கிட்டு வேலையும் பார்த்துக்கிட்டு நீங்கள் இன்னும் நல்லா சந்தோஷமாக ஃபேமிலியோட வேலையோடு இருக்கணும் வி விஷ் யூ ஆல் த வெரி பெஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஏஜ் ஆல் feeling that she didn't get any interview call okay that is one thing she was right. suffering actually yeah, she, okay. and i was waiting for a, oh, at least one interview but i didn't get any interview mm-hmm. okay then right. I, i just encourage her to focus on the process okay just do your work and just uh, complete and ajc uh, when we complete our mock interview definitely you are going to arrange an interview uh, so uh, she was constantly upgra- upgrading herself she uh, took all our effort from the ajc materials and she also exposed the latest uh, releases everything she put her effort and keep her occupied and ready for any opportunity actually she got two interview calls and she could clear both the interviews yes uh, so that is uh, that is what actually will happen i mean we should not be i mean uh, i mean uh, down down ourselves i mean we should keep motivated ourselves and we should wait for the opportunity until that we should uh, keep ourselves uh, upgraded and stick to the process definitely a, a time will come at that time you will you will crack the interview so you should be ready so that is what i want to encourage everyone here i appreciate yeah, thank for you, the Jit, time you yeah he helped me lot uh, yeah he gave lot of input on my resume uh, he asked me to keep on posting uh, on linkedin so building the connections so he helped me lot the the way how we have to prepare for interview sessions so thank you vijit <laughs> thank you vijit yes the one thing vijit has which has told uh, that's really true namma namma poda kudiya effort true a irukku nammoda ulaippu unmaya irukku namma yaarkum bandagam badagam pannala we are genuine appingum bodu you don't have to worry about everything anything நம்மளுக்கு என்ன வேணுமோ அது யூனிவர்ஸ் வில் அப்படியே எடுத்துட்டு வந்து கையில் கொடுத்துரும் வென் இட் இஸ் அ ரைட் டைம் யூ வில் கெட் எவ்ரி திங் வித் இன் த ரைட் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ ஆல் தட் வி ஜஸ்ட் ஹாவ் டு பி புட் ஏ ஃபோக்கஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஏ ட்ரூ ட்ரூ டு பி ஆஸ் அண்ட் ட்ரூ டு அதர்ஸ் அந்த அது இருந்தாலே போதும் நம்மளுக்கு இங்கேன்னு இல்லை மேபி உங்களுடைய இந்த அச்சீவ்மெண்ட்டும் தட் இஸ் ஒர் ரீஇன்சிஸ்டிங் ஆஸ் நாட் ஓன்லி கிளியரிங் சேல்ஸ் ஃபோர்ஸ் இன்டர்வியூனு இல்லை நாளைக்கு நீங்கள் எங்கே போனாலும் சரி லைஃப்பில் என்ன மாதிரி விஷயங்களை திஸ் இஸ் ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஒன் வேற எவர் யூ கோஸ் வேற எவர் த லைஃப் உங்களை எடுத்துகிட்டு போனாலும் சரி ஜஸ்ட் பி ட்ரூ டு யூ யூ அண்ட் ட்ரூ டு அதர்ஸ் அண்ட் புட் யுவர் எஃபர்ட் இன் அ ஹானஸ்ட் வே யூ வில் கெட் எவ்ரி திங் அட் த ரைட் மூமெண்ட் ஆல் ரைட் ஸோ தேங்க் யூ ஸோ மச் பவித்ரா ஃபார் கிவிங் ஹேஸ் திஸ் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி அண்ட் ஐ ஃபீல் வெரி பாசிட்டிவ் அந்த பாசிட்டிவ் கொடுத்ததுக்கு ரொம்ப ரொம்ப நன்றி I'm really sorry once again. I apologize for uh, starting this uh, session quite late. I got quite a uh, personal held up. Thank you so much for you. And thanks everyone for uh, staying, uh, staying with us in the last uh, 30-40 minutes. Thank you so much. See you all. Thank you, Pavitra. Bye. Thank you, Shabbat. Bye.